forever in the history of Australian motorsport, with Nissan becoming the first Japanese manufacturer to win Touring Car Racing's classic contest at Bathurst. After two decades of trying, the historic victory was a tribute not only to the dedication and talent of drivers Jim Richards and Mark Scaife, but also the technology of the four-wheel drive Nissan GTR Sports Coupe, acknowledged as Touring Car Racing's most sophisticated weapon. Having dominated the Australian Touring Car Championship in the GTR, Richards and Scaife went to Bathurst as hot favourites. 24-year-old Scaife was entrusted with the job of qualifying in the traditional one-lap dash for the top 10 grid positions. This is where the GTR is so fast coming out of this corner, the cutting. They probably pick up 10 or 15 kilometres an hour on the two-wheel drive cars out of that corner, carry it with them all the way across the top. 258 kilometres an hour up Mountain Straight for Mark Scaife. Gosh, he could have picked up and carried one or two other competitors. down towards the dipper now. Intense but cool, Scaife rewarded the faith of team boss Fred Gibson with the fastest ever lap by a touring car on the famed 6.2 kilometre Mount Panorama road course with a stunning time of 2 minutes 12.63 seconds and a top speed of 293 kilometres per hour for pole position. I think Jimmy and I will take a fair bit of beating from here. Fred Gibson had assembled a dedicated crew to back his two factory-entered cars, the second to be driven by Drew Price and Gary Walden. A third privately-entered Nissan GTR, crewed by Mark Gibbs and Rowan Onslow, had made it an all-Nissan front row. Employing catch-us-if-you-can tactics from the start, the Nissan team set about outrunning Australia's best touring car teams in the 161-lap race, which has become more of a 1,000-kilometre sprint rather than an endurance event. The combination of Jim Richards, a winner at Bathurst on three previous occasions, and the young Lion Scaife was a masterstroke. Both drivers knew they had a bulletproof package and were not worried by suggestions from the opposition that the GTR would be slowed by brake, transmission and tyre problems on the feared mountain course. Now we sort of uh, made a choice to use Yokohama E compounds to start the race. The weather was a bit cool for those at the present. They started to grain a little bit, but as the heat came up and the oil got in the circuit, the tyre went very well. And uh, I must thank Yokohama for doing a super job of the day for us because like, we just kept putting tyres and every 35 laps in the car kept going around the same tyres. To the contrary, the number one GTR ran faultlessly throughout as the pressure mounted on rivals to match the front running pace. The factory Commodore of Wynn Percy was in trouble early, while mountain master Peter Brock was a regular visitor to the pits. Tire and engine troubles slowed the factory BMW attack, while the much feared Ford Sierra is driven by Gary Brabham Dick Johnson and Glenn Seaton failed to live up to expectations. As always, the foundation of the Nissan success story was teamwork. Gibson's close-knit squad is unique in touring car racing. There is a genuine camaraderie and mutual respect that stamps the Gibson Motorsport Nissan GTR team as one of the best to ever conquer the Bathurst Mountain Classic. Gibson won this race as a driver way back in 1967. The slick pit stops and race strategy were under his direct control as was the decision to transfer Scaife to the Price Walden car for a late race charge that produced a new race lap record of 2 minutes 14.5 seconds. This has been our team. Uh, this to me is a win for Scaife and I and Fred. Uh, I really, there's no number one driver in our team as you know and uh, Mark absolutely drove brilliantly. The car was perfect. So it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's an equal win for both Mark and I and Fred. Because without them, I couldn't have done it. The Nissan team effort has the enthusiastic support of managing director Leon Daphne, who took a close personal interest in the historic Bathurst Triumph. A lot of people say that the GTR is the best car and that's certainly true, but I think it's a combination of the technology of uh, Nissan Australia providing the GTR, 
Fred Gibson providing two excellent drivers and uh, a lot of hard work by the Fred Gibson Motorsport team, which has made all of us in this Australia very, very proud. As the local manufacturer with the longest official team involvement in Australian motorsport, Nissan has a racing heritage that is part of Bathurst folklore. 1966, and a new team arrives at Mount Panorama to demonstrate Datsun reliability. It's fairly obvious that confidence was the reason for the long journey by Japanese drivers Kitamo and Takanashi. They've gone to the front in Class A, half a lap ahead of the Lawler Gaps Cortina 220, number 50. 25 years later, Nissan is still going strong at Bathurst, but now with the high-tech twin-turbocharged GTR, the car affectionately known as Godzilla. The Nissan Turbo era at Bathurst began in 1981 with the ungainly but impressively fast Bluebird. Who will forget George Fury's sensational lap of 2 minutes 13 seconds to take pole for the 1984 Mountain Classic? In 1986, Gary Scott debuted the Group A Skyline six-cylinder turbo with another spectacular pole position. In 1987, victory came agonisingly close with the unforgettable Glenn Seaton in second place. Oh, Glenn. However, success continued to elude Nissan. The new GTSR Skyline was fast but ran headlong into a massive Ford Sierra challenge. The Godzilla GTR made its debut in 1990 and 12 months later had taken its own special place in Bathurst history. The 1991 Bathurst victory was a fitting tribute to all that had gone before, with Richards and Scaife backed up by a superb third placing by privateers Gibbs and Onslow in a GTR built in the Gibson Motorsport workshops. Going into today, it must have been frightening the pressure on you because everybody knew you were so fast, everyone was expecting you to go out and do what you've done so far. Yeah, there was lots of pressure, but uh, you know, the team's done a fantastic job this year, not just today, they've done a good job all year, and uh, you know, the preparation of the cars has been fantastic.